All right, guys, welcome to No Man's Sky. This is Survival Bob, and this is my new gameplay series in survival mode. Now, you may be asking yourself, but Survival Bob, didn't you just do a gameplay series in survival mode? Why, yes, yes, I did. I recorded two episodes, and, uh, well, actually, I recorded five episodes, but I lost the last three and only published the first two, and then, you know, I threw my lollipop in the sand and went home. So I figured, let's just start over, let's try it again, and uh, do something a little bit different. So guys, uh, this is going to be survival mode, so if you're not familiar with survival mode, uh, the difference is things are a little bit harder, and uh, stuff tries to kill you more, and you get less inventory space. Those are the main differences. So, uh, so yeah, first thing I'm going to do is, not that button, no, nope. yep, that one, go into camera mode. Camera mode's gonna pause time for me and let me kind of look around and see what's happening without me taking damage. Uh, okay, so I got some sodium right up there. That's where I am. Okay, so there's the sodium. Let's go get it. Now, this is not gonna be a tutorial style series. You will pick up some stuff because I like to talk and teach while I'm doing things. But uh, the reality is this is more of, uh, this is just gameplay. And what I wanted to do in the series was, you know, see what I could do in uh in survival mode because i haven't really spent a lot of time in it and my permadeath series is all live stream so it's hard for me to focus a little bit there sometimes i don't know if you've checked out my live streams you should check them out they're pretty cool uh so i'm taking damage let's uh let's not do that all right so i did that let's go to this cave that sounds like a good idea bob let's do that let me in let me in the cave so i can talk and think you're not gonna let me in there are you that's such a sneaky Sneaky cave. Alright, so let me focus for a sec. Let's see what I can figure out. Oh, there it is. Somehow I got in a cave. There we go. Alright, alright. I don't know how I got in here. Hmm. Oh, I went in. Okay, alright. Bob's figuring stuff out. Bob's figuring stuff out. Don't worry. Alright, so, uh, where are you people at? There you are. Okay, so, uh, early game. Uh, we're going to, you know, try to survive. We're going to gather some materials, and we're going to do some stuff. Now, I, I've been playing No Man's Sky for a while. I have done a lot of starts, and I don't want to start the same way every time, you know? Uh, I want to mix it up, try something new, do something a little bit different, and just see how it works. I love the early game mechanics of No Man's Sky. Uh, I like the grind to an extent, but I also like trying to, you know, try out new things and see, hey, is this fun? Is it work different? Is this what I want to do? So, um... Let's see, I'm supposed to locate the scanner, right? Is that what it's telling me to do? Yeah. No. Uh, use the scanner to locate resources. Oh, it's broken. Surprise, surprise. All right, so we got to gather ferrite. That's cobalt. That's not ferrite dust. Is that, what is that? So I'm pretty sure all of this stuff is cobalt. Something hit me. What hit me? Because I could use the oxygen. Oh God, oh God, I'm dying. Yeah, so this is uh, definitely harder. Holy crap, am I going to die? Where is it? Oh, there you are, you little booger. Damn, okay, that was rough. That was, uh, that was Bob not paying attention, just like on live stream. So let's grab this oxygen by shooting these little boogers. Uh, that's cobalt, but whatever. I feel like there's something else there. I don't want to take any chances. It's hard to see with these vertical, almost vertical caves, I should say. Um, and I find myself tilting my head, actually, while I play, which gives me a kink in the neck which I'm not a fan of. All right, let's get that. No, let's wait for the suit. Yeah, radioactive planet. Okay. So, ferrite dust is going to be these rocks. Yep, right there. Give me the ferrite dust. I need 75 of this. Uh, and we're going to run around. So, in this series... What I want to do is, like I said, I want to try out different things. I want to uh, learn how to inventory manage a little better, maybe. I don't know. I probably will fail at that. That's part of the reason you do it. So, uh, as I mentioned, the big difference is the stack size. Stack size, you only get 250 uh, items per stack as opposed to basically 10,000 in uh, normal mode, 9999. And, uh, yeah, so we... Uh, we're going to have to uh, do things a little differently. The cobalt method is a little bit more difficult considering it takes 3,000 cobalt to crash an economy. 
and that would be what four times 12 stacks of cobalt in my uh, suit which I don't even know if I have that much uh, I mean I do but it would I'd have nothing else sweet tetra cobalt that will be helpful for the money making efforts all right let's let's fix our multi-tool do that all right so let's scan all right there's boosters boosters oh there we go let's go get some more sodium so it's good to have and it makes the game happy recharge and I'm used to playing with max shield so it's gonna take me a minute to get uh, to get used to this all right I did it now what do you want me to do game oh you're happy you're happy about what I've done excellent all right let's gather a little bit of carbon here all right now we gotta go find our ship Let's get this dihydrogen and try to make it to our ship to recharge our suit. I know, I know, I should be running. I should be running. Holy crap, this is farther than I thought. Oh god, oh god. Okay. Bob, don't die in the first episode. Bad, bad, bad look. Right? All right. Let's just run. Let's just run. All right. There we go. Shields are back. Feeling good. Looking good. Didn't die. Almost died. But, you know. Yeah, I know. Those plants suck. And they do hurt you when you don't have full shields. Come on. Let me up there. All right, let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, in the ship, in the ship, let me in. There we go. All right, let's read through this real quick and uh, jump out and do some more stuff. Atlas connection intermittent. Launch thrusters offline, pulse engine offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But the ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and the ship is a lifeline to the stars. I was almost dead, bro. You have no idea. Uh, so I'm just going to connect the exosuit, because that's what you're supposed to do. And it's going to tell me to fix stuff. Exosuit connected. Suggestion. Perform maintenance. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. Hermetic seal and a metal plating. All right, so I'm going to sit here for a second, wait for my uh, stuff to go back where it's supposed to be. And I go ahead and move this stuff while I'm waiting. Yeah, metal plating. Let's see, can I make a metal plating? I can. Let's go ahead and fix that. What does this need? Pure and dihydrogen jelly. Can I make a dihydrogen? I can. Let's fix that. And then we'll need the refiner for that one. All right, let's see. How are we doing? That's tetracobalt. We got some sodium. Let's go ahead and move this stuff to make some space. Let's go ahead and do that. Got one of these. Oxygen. Put the cobalt down here and the tetracobalt. These are the the biggies that we're going to need for sure. Are we full? Looks like we're full. All right, let's get out and let's do some stuff. Try not to die. All right, let's go over here. Let's talk to this thing. Boundary separation. Vessel emptied. Cause. Sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. Analysis. Fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. I'm a compliant anomaly. I say that every time, but I feel like a compliant little anomaly. All right, so let's see what we got here. Sure, let's take the goop. Why not? Let's go. Nanites. Perfect. 
All right, give me something good. The hydrogen four, really? That's not very exciting. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. Sodium is helpful. All right, let's see if there's anything else near here that I missed. Let's go ahead and grab that. Sodium before we uh, run for the hermetic seal. Because on normal mode, you can just run it and not worry about it. But on abnormal mode or survival mode, not so much. You get a good amount of, uh, of oxygen from these guys. And they don't really do a ton of damage. So you definitely get more oxygen by uh, grabbing their little pods. Hey, buddy, just give me the, give me the pod. Did I already grab your pods? I already grabbed your pods, didn't I? Then you can die. Die, die, die. Okay. All right, let's grab a little bit of materials. Let's see if I can pay attention to my beam and keep it in the right spot so I can do this quick and efficiently. Just give a little tappy tap, 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 tap a -roo. And then we'll go charge our suit and head over to get the hermetic seal. Oh, we gotta get the map out first, don't we? Starship critically damaged, vital ingredients missing. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Let's get assistance for the Hermetic Seal. Should give us a map in the Distress Beacon cache. Yep, got it. Check, I'm gonna sit here for a second. Uh, organize my materials once more. All right, so cargo will hold 500. So if you get us, instead of two stacks, you can go uh, with one stack in the cargo of 500. All right, so this stuff got oxygen so I actually have enough to do uh, one of these here still have 160 oxygen that's why those plants are great um, because they will uh, give you the tons of oxygen we looking good let's do this all right, so we're going to grab the map out of the beacon, and we're going to start running. A storm will trigger, as it always does, about halfway there. And we'll see what happens. See if I get distracted. Guys, go ahead and place your bets now on whether or not I get distracted. All right. Way over there. I'm looking around to see if I see anything closer, and I don't really see anything. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Yeah, I was moving so slow I had to check to make sure I was running. I thought I was, but the nice thing about moving at night is you can see the other, uh, the item's good without having to scan. My God, the run is so slow. Got to get some nanites, y'all. We got to get some nanites for real. Let's do this. Come on. Go. Uh, it sucks going over a mountain. Especially when you don't have a terrain manipulator, you know. I guess I could have built it, but... Actually, I don't think I have the blueprint for it yet. Alright. There is the storm sucking out my juice. Go, 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 go. Hey, buddy, I'm going to have your oxygen as I run by you. <coughs> if you don't mind. And if you do mind. I don't really care. All right, go, go, go. Can I get inside? Yeah, I can get inside. Totally can get inside. I only have to recharge once. I'm okay with that result. Whew. Okay, we made it. All right, this should be the Hermetic Seal, correct? Accessing archive. Six of seven logs corrupted. That's not good. No one kzzzt, making the recording in case kzzzt, leave behind kzzzt, in the fabricator kzzzt, might be of some use. Kzzzt, visor damaged. Kzzzt, can't find the ship. Recover supplies. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. 
Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Perhaps. That was mighty nice of them. Alright, what does that give me? It should give me something. Didn't tell me it gave me anything. Kinda sucks. Alright, there's my seal. Uh, anything else to grab in here? Nope, let's go check next door. Let's go ahead and grab this. While we wait, come on. Any day now. Get some more nanites. We definitely need the nanites. Can I learn a word? Terminal online. Universal translation. Life form dictionary available. Let's learn a word. Alright, so we're in a Viking system because we just learned the Viking word for Viking. You only word, learn the words for the system of the species you're in. Okay, so weather update storm is clearing. I think now we should build our analysis visor, which is going to require one of these carbon nanotubes. Bam. Anything else we need to build? I ain't really sweating that other stuff right now. Uh, I'll put you down here. All right, so we got the analysis visor. Good to go. Let's analyze some stuff. This is a good way to get a few bucks early on as well. And see, this should give me uranium. This is a radiated planet, right? So I should be able to get some launch fuel. Yep, perfect. Those have uranium in them. So I definitely want to grab some uranium. Early game, launch fuel is a thing. And uh, it's not that hard to make with dihydrogen and uh, ferrite dust to make, uh, you know, a metal plating and then some launch fuel. But if you can get uranium, definitely the way to go. All right, I feel like that is enough, and you guys are probably tired of that by now. So let me run in here and charge my suit, and then we'll go. All right, let's go. Unfortunately, you cannot run and shoot your multi-tool at the same time, which seems kind of dumb. But, you know, it is what it is. Definitely need dihydrogen, so pick that up along the way. Oh, I didn't analyze that. And I wasn't paying attention to my beam. So now I run. Ow! In the face! I think I got Bob in the face. Bob's used to getting other people in the face. Uh-oh. 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 Alright, let's run in this cave a little bit, charge up, and uh, grab some materials. I have lost two of my three plus bars, so Bob's going to have to take it a little bit easier. Alright, so let's grab some Cave Morrow. Cave Morrow is good because you can refine it into um, sodium. Cobalt's good because you can sell it for the monies. Now, if I was in normal mode, what I would be doing is uh, mining up all the cobalt I can so I could sell it, crash the economy, make a bunch of money. But, uh, I don't have a ton of room for that. And it's just not going to be efficient. So I've got a few other ideas I want to try out. Stick with me uh, and see what I do. And it's not chlorine. I mean, I may do some chlorine, but that's not my that's not my big money making idea for this season. Next time, Bob makes tons of money. Maybe, if it works, you'll have to tune in to find out. All right. I'm really after some of these geodes, to be honest with you, because I know those are worth a few bucks. Alright. Just trying to slide down the hill gracefully. Now what I'm looking for is a white box, because your health does not regenerate in this game. Your shields do, but not your health. So you got to find the white health boxes uh, to get that uh, to happen for you. And Bob, Bob needs two of those right now. Actually, I could probably use my scanner, huh? Smarty pants. Let's see. That's buried technology, uranium, gamma weed. Uh, there's some uh, There's some cargo. Let's go check that out. Maybe there's a box over there. Oh, not the kind of box I'm looking for, but, you know, in a pinch, any box will do. Maybe not for exactly what you want, but 
you know. It's better no box. That's a thing. All right, let's do something stupid. This is where Bob will die. I'm gonna grab two of these. And, uh, oh man, I'm here. Oh, I was gonna do something stupid. Oh well, no stupid for Bob. Well, not at this moment anyway. Let's hop back in here and fix our ship and get on out of here. Hit click. Let's go here. Yay, it's fixed. Launch thrusters critically damaged. Pure ferrite. In order to do that, we're going to need a refiner. Exit the starship. Uh, Alright, so we need a metal plating. Got it. Let's make a refiner. Nailed it. Throw, ooh, I need carbon. Um, how much did I need? I needed 50, right? Let's get back in here so we can finish charging our suit. Bam, that is fixed. Nice. So now we can leave. All right, Starship is repaired. All right, let's check our refiner. That's going to take a minute. All right, let's go ahead and grab some carbon before I forget, which I already almost did. Whoa. Hey, big scary dude. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's mad. So you normally, stuff doesn't try to kill you on the first planet. But uh, here, they ain't so worried about that. All right, now when you pick up your portal refiner, of course, you get your carbon back. So, good to know. All right, let's go. Take off. How do I take off? I've been playing the wrong games. W, there you go. All right, so you start off in first person mode. You can switch it to third person mode, but when you get into space, you see that little diamond? I'm kind of pointing towards it, almost. It, uh, that's the space station, actually. You can't see it. It's not showing up on the marker yet. But you can actually get to the space station if you really want to. Identify yourself. I'm not alone. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was supposed to be doing this for real. Follow the... Gzzt. The broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Well, where do we go now? Let's see. No, that doesn't look like a bad world. I'm sure it is, though. Uh, Starbolt. Whoa. Is this a good world? Starbolt is good. Humid is good. I mean, I live in Georgia, so humid's all I know. But whenever you see Starbolt on a planet, that means you're going to have a decent atmosphere. Now, whether you have, you know, scalding rain or something like that, is another story. Or, you know, angry sentinels, which is usually the case. That's Damnus. Damus. That is called D-A-M-N us. Damus C4. Not a very promising name, I gotta say. Oh wait, there's a there's a pad over there. What is that? Oh that's a uh looks like a manufacturing facility maybe. I don't know. I'm not good at identifying buildings. Alright, let's tr let's come in for a landing. I've been teasing you long enough. literally see nothing here. New technology, terrain manipulator. Bro, bro, who is shooting me? Give me that. Alright, now you die. There was a sentinel right next to me and I did not notice if this was an aggressive sentinel planet. Uh, sentinels require obedience. Mm, doesn't sound great. But it doesn't say aggressive, so that's a good thing. Alright, terrain manipulator. 
Um, now, I'm kind of cheaty on this. I always just destroy my rockets because I don't really use rockets. So, yeah. That way I don't have to go mine the copper. And then hopefully I will make enough money that I can buy some chromatic metal and not have to worry about that. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to need condensed carbon, so let me go ahead and save that. Copper. All right, so let's throw down a base computer real quick. Hi, oh, buddy. I am obedient. I'm an obedient anomaly or compliant anomaly or something. All right, previous users put some stuff in here. Storm sweeping across. Construction supplies low. Deposit shelter plans. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. All right, so... Let's go ahead and build our patented box. There we go. Well, that was way too hard. All right, safe and sound. All right, let's throw down our refiner. Alright, let's take a look at this. I don't have any salvaged data yet. So I'm going to need two. And then the biofuel reactor, I think, is three, if I remember. It may be two, I can't remember. Alright, so we got to explore buried technology. Oh god, oh god. Oh, Jesus, Bob. Oh, we got to get those nanites. We got to get that shield going. At least it's not permadeath, right? I mean, I get, give me four, give me four, two, close. So other than the superheated rainstorms, just your ideal kind of planet and the uh, sentinels. But other than that, it's all good. Come on, give me something good. Two more, all right. Blueprints, blueprints. All right, we need that. Uh, we need that. We need that. And I'm going to buy a signal booster just because I like signal boosters early game. And I have one extra one. So... All right, so let's go ahead and build the uh, teleporter. Two carbon nanotubes. Good thing I got some carbon. Bam. Let's get a biofuel reactor. Let's get some wiring going. Nailed it. Got to rename the base. So what are we going to call it? Bob's. Oh, I'll make that caps lock on. Bob's Golden Shower Planet. You know, because it's golden. There's, there's, oh, profanity filter, huh? What was wrong with that? Hmm. Okay, how about this? Bob's Golden Box. There we go. Nothing wrong with that. Go ahead and upload it. You know, there's my box right there. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and cut this episode right here. I'm going to try to keep them to 30 minutes or less. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the notification so you see when these update. And pray that I don't delete these and have to start over again because I'll probably just cry and not do it. So, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it again. This is Survival Bob saying if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And uh, if you're going to play survival mode, uh, don't, don't break your legs three times like I did. It's bad. I'll see you next time, guys.